What's up, everybody? Oh, hang on. Have I got game sound? A little bit, yeah. Right then. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Last Day on Earth Survival here on the alpha update again of 1.11.6. Now, I've been looking at my base a little bit, and anyone that's been here for more than a few weeks will know that I am in the process of redesigning my base and wrapping it all in steel. However, the devs have just added in this storage update, which means that instead of requiring 100 slots of storage for all your boxes, you now only need 40. So if we look at it, these are all the boxes I need, which means I have got a lot of empty space. So I've decided I'm going to cut off this entire section here. So it's what, 3 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... 11, 12, 13, a 3 by 13 section that is made mostly of steel. And then with this steel, what I'm going to be able to do is basically fill the last few little holes that are left in the base. And then, hopefully, I'm actually going to be able to start making a few of the weapon mods that require steel as well. Right. It's got those. That's... Ah, right. Haven't st done any floors yet. Uh, and, of course, we are going to be getting a ton of oak back from this as well. It's a shame it only gives you the resources that you use to make the um, actual one your... your uh, it's a shame it only gives you the resources that you used to make that specific wall, not the entire set of walls that make it up. So instead of giving you oak, wood, stone, stone bricks, aluminium, you just get the steel and the aluminium. But I suppose it probably would have been a little bit overpowered otherwise. Now I need to be very careful here not to accident... Oh, not enough space. Run out of storage. There we go. Ah, oh, look at that. That is nice to have that much steel in one place again. Now if we could drop that into there. Drop that into there. No room. Oh yeah, of course there's no room. We'll just fill that up. Now where's my steel box? This is the steel box. Right, aluminium plates. Let's grab these. And we will upgrade those last few floors. So it's this one, this one, and then we've got, I think it will actually just be that floor there that will need to be upgraded. But we're going to need to get a few twigs. So what do we need? Five stone, five pine. Should easily be able to upgrade this. Not sure if I'm going to have the pine planks. Yeah, there we go. And then we're going to need oak and stone, but that oak and metal ingots, not stone, isn't it? Yeah. Boom. Uh, and we can upgrade that one as well, otherwise we're not going to be able to make that a metal wall. But that should be fine for now. Actually, no, it won't, because once we demolish that floor, that will go bye-bye. Hmm. Uh, where did I move my stuff to? I have... I've been completely moving everything around for the last couple of days, just redesigning absolutely all of my storage. Uh, have I got any... E, that should be perfect. Six total. Let's, um... Where was it? Right, so the line we're going to be upgrading is here. Right, 15 bricks, 10 iron ingots. I'll grab the... I guess I'll grab the iron ingots, and then we should be able to get everything else from the demolitions. Um, and let's stash that quickly. No. Nope. I need to think about how to do this, because I do not want to end up destroying a ton of my resources. Um, let's put the steel away, because they're going to... One, that's the most important, and it will stack the least in there as well. Right then, let's see if we can finally get our base actually finished. There we go. Uh, need a few more bricks. There's that one done. More bricks for that one as well. Let's get that wall there. I've wasted so many resources just redesigning my base again and again and again. But I do love that you get resources back now. Doing this before that happened was horrible. Not enough space for nine steel plates. Ouch. We just lost nine steel plates right there. Right. Mm, that, that was painful. Right. Back to needing steel. Easily got space for it now. Uh, 
Let's get that one. Okay, need a little bit more steel. Boom. Right. Okay, so it's just those two walls left. Haven't got the pine to do them, unfortunately, but it's not the end of the world. We will do that sometime within the next five, ten minutes. Right, want to make sure we're not running out of space. Let's um, stash that. Oak. Bricks as well, I suppose, can go in there. Now, is there any other floors that need upgrading before I get to ripping this up? That one there needs to be a steel floor. Yep. By the way, people, I know watching this, you are kind of disgusted at me destroying all of these. But it needs to be done because we don't actually... Do not need these floors in our base in any way, shape or form. Or these extra walls. Oh, make sure to get the wool first. Otherwise, that will just go bye-bye. Oh, that was rather stupid of me. I really wish those buttons were not so close together. Just being very careful what I demolish here. Because I do not want to lose out on any resources. Especially since I just accidentally upgraded one that I didn't need to. Right, storage wise, what are we looking at? Perfect. Stopped at the right moment. Now that's, um... No, you can't really take anything, can it? I think I've got an almost empty trunk. Is it this one? Yeah, let's just throw absolutely everything in here for now. So the reason I'm doing this on camera is if I do anything like this off camera, people shout at me and call me a hacker. So if you're not interested in any of this stuff, I would suggest skipping ahead to when I'm raiding, which will be, yeah, after I've done this. Uh, but it does feel nice to actually get even more space in the base. That's lovely. Alright, of course, hang on, we can still take out this entire section, can't we? Ooh, you know what, we're going to have a lot of steel left over. Need to make sure I can still see the message. How are we looking storage-wise? Decent, but do not want to risk losing any steel at all. Space in here? Yeah. Definitely a nice problem to have. Not enough storage space for all your steel. Not something I'm going to complain about anytime soon. Right, so we've got those two walls to upgrade. We'll get the steel for them in a moment. So that there should be two walls. Uh, one wall, rather. So just need to make sure I'm actually demolishing the wall before the floor, otherwise I'm just going to destroy the wall over it and lose out on all the resources from it. Okay, so that's got a steel wall the other side. I can demolish this. Something is blocking. There's a bed on it. Uh, stick the bed up there. Right, now that is sitting on... Oh, that's sitting on level 2 floors. Uh, level 3, rather. Gunsmith bench, where can you go? Ah, I can put it there. That's stone. Perfect. Right, back to this stuff. Boom. 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 There we go. That is all of the extra steel walls that we don't need. Now, just going to finish ripping up these because otherwise they're just going to sit there and be ugly. Now, what I think I might do is leave my gunsmith bench boxed in so there's something for people to break and I'll... Um, Actually, no, because I don't want people to waste C4 breaking into that section and then get annoyed when they see there's just guns on the bench there. Not enough space, okie dokie. Right, completely running out of storage now. Uh, any in here? There we go. Ah, uh, we're going to have so much steel left over. This is perfect. Definitely going to be able to finish off those weapon mods. Actually. Oh, we're not going to be able to because we're going to need factory parts for them. Hmm. Our base is going to be a bit of an odd shape now. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So it's going to be 11 by 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. An 11 by 13 shaped base. Let's um, 
Put these bits away. Put the bed away. Boom. 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 And boom. Right, that should be all the floors. You know what? We can move this turret. I'm going to get the turrets moved onto stone floors so I can demolish these steel ones. Get a little bit more steel back. Oh, uh, yep, we can destroy that. The wall won't go. And destroy that. There we are. Right, now, if we go Bloodhound, not Bloodhound, look around in our base. Ta-da! Still a pretty big base, but we don't need the storage that we were using up before. So let's grab that, put these back here, because they didn't actually need to move. Now. Yeah, so after ripping that up, I actually still have an entire 3x3 room there, not including... Oh, oops, didn't mean to press that. So that's my C4 raining supplies box. But we've got all of that space, got a few spots in there, we've got that room there, and that one there. As well as... Oh, that doesn't actually lead to a door out. It's, ah, that is steel as well. Darn. Hmm. Right, so we need to upgrade our last few walls. I'm tempted to use... Yeah, that's it. I know I just used a horrific amount of coins there, but... Oh, well. Need to get the base safe if I'm going to be going out on a raid. Well, and you know what? I might as well upgrade those bottom ones there to steel, since... Ooh, I think I've got a little bit of steel left over now. Right. On oak planks. Oak planks. Let's grab them. Let's grab them. Grab that, grab that, grab that, grab that, grab that. That should be enough. We might need a bit more aluminium. There we go. So yeah, it's just 20 pine planks that we're waiting on now. Oh, this is lovely. Aluminium. Any in here? Yes, lots. Right, let's go. Boom, and let's go. Not enough steel. Let's get... There we are. And there we are. Right, so it is literally just that one there that needs to be upgraded. What this means is we can now grab this, move it to... Oh, no, we can't because the um, crop is in the way. Ah, going to need to move all of my generators because that's where I've been growing them all. So they're going to kind of sit there now, actually. Perfect, look at that. Right, ideally I would also like... Oh, hang on, I think I've just blocked my front door. Where is the front door to my base? Ah, the door is there. Okay. Right, so what I'm actually going to want to do is move my floor mat. Move the floor mat to, I think, there? Let's see how this works. So we've obviously got a door on this section here that leads us round by the turrets and the dog crate. Can we chat to the raiders? What tasks have we got? Uh, I can actually just skip them. Actually, is that the second floor of the bunker? Yes, it is. Okay, I'll shoot over there quickly and kill them to just finish off that last task. So we'll have this here. When we spawn into the base, we're going to spawn right here. So we've got our thing there. Oh, my brain is completely died. Garage there. And we've got the base right here. Ooh, now, yeah, that's what I haven't thought of. If the metal cutter gets added, they're going to get straight into this room. So I think let's move our most valuables up to here. And I think I'm dying of either thirst or hunger right now. Yep, I'm sure you'll be fine for a second, but just in case you're about to die... Nah, you're good. Right, now I'm confused. Where am I? Right. That's, um, perfect. Right, so, valuables room is this one. We want to make sure all of this stuff is completely safe. Don't want to lose a single item from that room. So now, this central room here is protected by two steel walls. It should be two steel walls on every side. 
Let's chuck that there, and our final box there. Right then, so, where is our door? Door is here. Let's just kill this guy. When we come to the base, we've come into this room. We've got an empty room here. Basically empty room here. Come in, we've got our long galley room. We've got our mass storage here. Oh, you know what? With how much steel I've got, I can actually upgrade some more of these boxes to racks. Let's do it. We've got the update. We might as well use it. So I'm thinking upgrade the medkit box. Right, we need alumin um, iron plates and we need some oak. So apologies in advance if this is a bit of a longer video than normal. Um, I know some people don't mind, but other people do. And to the people that do mind, don't watch. Simple. Right, so we could upgrade. We could have our first purple rack, raiding supplies, and max that out with ha with the hatchets. Actually, you know, we'll be able to max that out. That'll be a hell of a lot of hatchets. That'll be 70 odd slots. Hmm. Or we can get our med kits done. I think I'm going to go for the med kits here. That's nice. And you know what? Since. Hey, we've got enough. We can actually do a load of these. I don't know what I'm on about. More iron, more oak. Um, should be this box. Iron plates. And the oak will be in here. Some of it. Some of it. Let's just do... Right, so we don't use bricks to upgrade, so let's just throw away all the bricks for a minute. Ignore my beautiful voice crack there. Now let's see how many of our boxes in here we can get upgraded. So, oh, the purple, the purple stack of boxes. I know they're called rack, but I prefer the word stack. Stack sounds nicer. Um, so all of this stuff, ah, oh, that will not be enough space to go into there. So I think we might as well just upgrade this one as well. Sound good? All right. So we want to keep. I'm going to say I want to keep at least 100 steel in a box there. Just keeping that on demand for when I need it. So I've got this slot that we can use. Uh, I think there was steel in here. Yep. Aluminium, aluminium, aluminium. Right, let's work out what we're going to do then. Let's go for this one. Boom. Oh, this room is going to be so difficult to walk around in. And let's get this one done too. There you go, our nice storage. Wow. That is a little bit daunting when you walk in here. Oh dear. Hmm. Can we upgrade safes? No, we can't. That'd be cool if you could upgrade a safe for, I'd say, 30 steel, 30 aluminium, and get like 10 slots in it instead. Might be an idea worth trying to pitch to the devs. And we got, okay, so we've got the med kits in there. They will easily be able to fit in there. Let's try and sort out our storage a bit now. Uh, that doesn't go in there. Right, I'm gonna cut back in a second. I'm gonna just get all of my bits organized. And welcome back. So I have I decided to upgrade this box here and I picked up I think the spare white box and it's now just sitting there completely empty. But I'll show you what I've done with the storage a little bit. So this is my meds box. Boom. All of my meds in there. Might actually grab the turkeys and put them in. How many turkeys have I got? You know what? I want the turkeys to stay in the food box. They are food. That's where it should be. Now this one here is pretty much completely empty. 
three out of 75 slots that are filled in that one. But this is just my emergency pickup drop off point for guns. Resources here, still got 133 steel sitting left over, ready to be used. I cannot actually make the weapon mods because I haven't got any factory parts, which is incredibly annoying. Now, what is it that I wanted to do with this box? So, I think I want to take all of the gun oil out of here. Let's do that. I think that looks a little bit better in here. And let's throw the gun oil into here like that. Perfect. Right, I'm going to put the energy drinks, them, and that into here. Now, the question is, will the energy drinks ruin my organizational electronic circuits? Yes, they will. But, you know what? For storage like this, I would say it is worth it. That is a disgusting amount of boxes right there. So, each 75 slots. So, that's, what, 150 for two, 300, 400, uh... What am I doing? 150, 300, 450, 600 storage slots of items just in this room alone. So if by some miracle I do manage to get a load more guns, they'll be going straight into there. In the meantime though, the dealer is waiting out there for me. So I'm going to head over to see him. I'm probably going to move all these boxes into this room at some point, just so they're protected by the garage. Ah, okay. Oh, and I need to sort out my plantation as well. Otherwise, we're not going to be growing any more generators. Right then, let's see what the dealer has got for offer today. I'm hoping we're going to get a... Probably an AK. AK would be perfect. Oh, you know what? Ooh, I think what I'm going to do is stick this in my storage. Because I'm actually working on saving up an entire chest or trunk worth of the normal weapons boxes. Right, let's see what we've got here. Seven minutes on that. Okay, let's run over to the base. Right, we're over here. Let's see if this is the one where they try and ambush and kill you or the zombies. Honestly, I prefer if it's the one where they kill you because the zombies one, you have to wait around for a while. Nah, it's the zombies. Okay, so what we're gonna do is just let them get killed by the zombies. You having a bit of trouble running there? You okay? You alright? There you go. Now, the question is, are they going to turn on me as soon as they get done with the zombies? Right, so one army guy is already dead. His body's just down there. That's the last one. Hi. No. There we go. And now they're killing them, let's start trying to loot these. So I think both of them will probably die in that fight. Yep, they're both dead. Alright. So now we need to be fastish. Full health swap part, I'll take that. Ooh, the question is, can we get away before the zombies kill us? If not, you know what, let's just... Oh, that's nice. That is very nice. I love the shotgun spread shot, if I haven't said that before best mod in the entire game. Oh, you know what? Speaking of which, I have actually finished the gut hook blade for the machete. Hang on, let's just do this one more time. Shot gun rain! Oh, that's nice. That is very, very nice. Right, now I've got no idea. It's the other raid up there he is. And that's all we'll take. <laughs> oh, that was lovely. Right, do any of these have tickets or are they just normal loot? Yeah, normal loot. Alright. Alright then, I think we should go raiding. Wow, the raider says, the witch is hot, isn't she? I can't even imagine what she looked like when she was alive and I don't want to imagine. That is a little bit creepy. Why is it that men in game are always creepy and the women are incredibly over sexualized some things i don't like about games sometimes but i think we should end off this video with a nice raid so we'll have done what huge changes to the base got a nice free weapons box from the dealer which i forgot to open oops cleared out the rest stop event and now we're going to raid player 5214 hopefully 
this will actually be a decent base with some good loot. And you know what? I'm going to research it. Uh, I'll get inside the base first. That's so 52, 14. We'll look around. If it looks like it's just a basic beginner base, I'll have a look at what we're going to get from it. Dismount. Okay. So let's take a run around the entire perimeter of the base. Looks like there's only... Oh, there's two doors now. No spikes out here that we can kill things on, unfortunately. Three doors. Door on all sides. Yep, and a fourth door here. Alright, I'm going to go for the main door. And hope it's not honeycomb. And is there any internal walls? No, there isn't. Right, so straight away what I'm doing, because if any of you saw my last video, I'm just going to stack my C4. Get that put away nice and safely. Right, so let's count the total boxes in it. Okay, we are actually going to be able to open every single box, I believe, before the big one turns up. Take the charcoal. Take some free nails. Now, because this isn't a revenge road, we are going to have to give something to the, de the raiders. And I'm kind of tempted to not give them anything. Aggro them, and then when they come back in a bit, try and kill them using four turrets. But, I th ooh, I think most of my turrets are only level one, though. Hmm. I don't know why raiding allows you to break the, um... Was it the shower? Oh, I suppose if it didn't, then people could use the shower as an impenetrable wall. Why are uh, the M16 just misses way too much? Actually, could it be? Uh, I suppose it depends on what way you place it, I guess. Right, so yeah, I got a load of leather from there. I'm happy with that. I've been decently in need of leather. I think I've got about 100 of it. Hmm. So we've got, what was it? Four boxes left. Still nothing good from the base. Uh, I can stock up my food box, I guess. Never going to say no to free food. Right, and now we're going to stop shooting for one, two, three. Now one, two, three. One, two, three. There we go. So yeah, you need to leave about three seconds between shooting each volley of bullets. Alright, and we're down to the VSS. Half durability, but that should be enough to take out the final wave that will come in. Let's see. Oh no, we've got six boxes left. Okay. Six sevens. Yeah, we just have enough noise. Ooh. I'll take them. It's nothing amazing, but... Ooh, and you know what? That's um, free chopper fuel right there. Can I equip that quickly? Let's grab that. Bunny, can you stop chewing the cardboard, please? Ooh, engine part. Right. Shouldn't be a wave coming just yet. I think that comes in at 80 or 90. You think I would know this by now, considering how often I'm raiding. Okay, let's do that. And that. Perfect. Right, so what do we want to stash? Let's get the beans stashed. Let's get... And some more medkits. Why not? I know I've got a ton, but no harm in having more lying around the base. Always gonna need meds. Now, this person doesn't actually have a chopper. Right, nothing in their truck either. Right, so let's just go. Two hits on that. Two hits on that. Two hits on that. Two on that one. Now, what do we want from here? Let me take that. And I'll take that. I don't think I really want any of the other bits. Nah, they're not really worth much, even when you trade them in with Jane. Right, um... Ooh, I'll take... Ooh! I actually want that pine... Oh, dear. Hello, hello, hello. I wish I could do the wall trick. If I was able to, then it would make raiding so much cheaper, because I might need to use guns every time. Hello? Okay, that's two of them right there. Ooh! to be close as to weapon durability. Right, we've got two shots left on this. Right. Willing to exchange these bits of charcoal for anything good if I can find anything. Don't really need that electronic circuit, so I'm also happy to scrap that. 
again if we find anything worth taking. Right, a single spot helmet. And hammer and a cleaver and a glock. I will drop that for that and I'll take the glock instead of those three. Right, I think that is everything we're going to need from this raid. Pretty sure I've broken absolutely everything. I'll um, give the workbenches a smack just in the off chance that they might have steel in them. I know it is very unlikely. Right, let's get healed up first though. Oh, 100 noise. Big one is coming for us. Smack and smack. And nothing in that one. Alright, time to run away. Goodbye, Tebow. And abominations. Right, you know what? Let me just, um... There you go. It's just breaking the gun. Right, let's flee from him. Raiders are here. They want me to give them stuff. I don't think we should. That wasn't an amazing raid, so I'm going to give them nothing. That means in approximately three hours, they are going to turn up here absolutely geared up with VSSs, medkits and everything and try and kill us. So I will be back in a few hours with the final part of the video. Goodbye. Hello again everyone. So the raiders should be turning up here in about a minute and a half. I've got this nice little wall set up here for me. I've got myself a VSS, a grenade launcher and I've got the auto healing set up as well. Over here, this is where they're gonna try and break into because this has got stone walls. These are the only walls in the base they'll be able to break, so that's where they're gonna head to. Apologies in advance if I sound weird or tired or whatever, I have just eaten a massive Indian. Not a person, it was a meal, it was an Indian meal. I had a chicken jar frazy and a naan and some rice. It was really good. But now I'm completely stuffed and it's almost 7pm so unfortunately this video isn't going to go out until about 10pm. Purely because I didn't originally plan on doing this fight with the raiders. And yeah, had to sit around and wait for two hours for this to happen. Okay, I'm sitting here in build mode. They should be showing up any second right there. As soon as they do, we're going to close out the build mode and start shooting. I think we're going to go for the the VSS first, maybe. But we just got to wait for them to pop up right in front of us. They should be here by now. A little bit concerning that they're not. Makes me feel that they might be at the other end of the base. Hmm. No. Oh, I can hear the fires over there. Come on, where are they? What I don't want to do is leave the map and then load back in and have the base having been raided and missed it. Because that, that would be rather annoying. Alright everyone, it's been five minutes now. They haven't turned up. I'm going to risk them disappearing. I'm going to go onto the main map then load back in. No sign of them still. There they are. Where are the other raiders? We killed one of them. We have got his VSS and SWAT. That's one down. Where are the others going? Have they just ran away? You know what? I'll count that. They ran away, but we did kill one of them. That is good enough for me. That there is a free VSS and SWAT set. And now, we never need to actually give the Raiders a share. Now, they did manage... To, yeah, they managed to break this turret, unfortunately. But, I think a few gun parts is definitely worth an almost full durability VSS and pretty much a full set of SWAT as well. And we used one med kit like one shot on the VSS and a few on the grenade launcher as well. I am really happy with that. Alright, thank you for watching people. I hope you have all enjoyed and I'll be seeing you all next time. Goodbye.